My name is Mary Stevens. I come from Mason Valley. I'm a member of the Yorinda Paiute tribe and I've lived there from day one. Considering I'm 29, that's not too long, is it? <laughs> I have my granddaughter helping me today. This is Lavana. I always have my family members helping me when we go out to do these traditional things. We have um, been picking buckberries for a long time. As a matter of fact, I come from a long line of buckberry pickers. Pickers is not the right word to use because we don't go out there and pick one at a time. We get the old stick and go out there and beat it, and then we bring it down, and uh, we're going to give you a small demonstration on how we do it. But first, you can't just go out and uh, think you're going to go out like this and, and pick buckberries because those mosquitoes will eat you to death. And the buckberries, the big gray bushes, they look nice, but they're very dangerous because they have these long points, about an inch long, even longer, that if they poke you, you know it. So what we do first, we put on our clothes to go out there. What we do first is put on our, our pants. Make sure those legs are covered because if it's not the mosquitoes, it's going to be the bugberry bushes that are going to hurt you. Uh, <laughs> I was getting shy in this stage of the game. She's not very shy, actually. And then, and then we put on a sweatshirt because, like I say, those bushes, you have to be sure that you're well protected. I remember when we used to go pick up berries a long time ago when I was a little girl. My mother and my grandma would gather everything in a basket like this, the burden basket. It carried the canvas in there and the long stick, which had a hook. We couldn't bring it because my daughter said, no, that is not going in her car. Her car's about eight feet long and the stick is like 12. I don't know how we could have fit it in there, so we didn't bring it. But it's a big, long stick, and it has a hook at the end like this. So when you get up there and pull it down, you sure know you've got something there. So you can be kind of selective about what kind of bushes you, you're picking, and, and you can pick the best, ripest berries there are. When we went out and walked out to the bushes, which was about a mile away, she'd pack up the canvas, she'd pack up the long pole, and we'll put on all those clothes. She was good at putting, getting dressed for an occasion, and that was one of the things she did. She put all these things on. She put on her hat. She made sure she had her gloves, and she had on those walking shoes. And we took off, and we went out there, walked out there, and walked and walked and walked, and finally got there. And the first thing we did was eat. We always took food. <laughs> We used to do that bug, uh, bugberry picking and planet picking. We ate first. So we'd load up all our food, too, and we ate, and then we got down to business. One of the first things we did was laid out our canvas. I got fancy. We would get fancy in our old age. And um, we laid down our cart. And we kind of fixed it into a cone shape. Because here I am getting the log, the berries. I'm breaking the branches off, and I'm throwing them into there. And what Lavana is doing is grabbing those little berries. Those